What is up everyone? My name is Susai and today we're going to talk about what should be your first programming language in programming. Let's go! Before we start guys, I just want to thank you guys for the 700 followers here in YouTube and also 84,000 followers on TikTok and I hope that you follow me in my other social media accounts guys because I really do appreciate it guys and I hope that our community still grows and continue to grow as well. Now let's get into the video. So what should be your first programming language? Hmm. My suggestion would be go for JavaScript or Python. Bakit ko ba sinabi yun? Well, here are some criteria kung bakit ko ito sinagest or ito yung mga tips na pwede kong ibigay sa inyo kung paano ba talaga dapat pumili ng first programming language. By the way guys, if you're already learning a programming language, I would suggest that you continue to learn that programming language because all the programming languages out there is kind of similar. Ang naiba lang talaga dyan is yung syntax or, or yung way ng pag-write ng code. If you haven't watched my fundamentals of programming video yet, then I totally recommend that you watch that first before you head into this video. So what should be your first programming language? Well, my suggestion would be JavaScript or Python. Let's head to the first tip na pwede kong suggest sa inyo sa pagpili ng first programming language. Number one is yung job market. This includes yung location and yung industry na tatahakin nyo. When we talk about location, ito yung kung saan kayo nakatira, which is tayo, nasa Philippines tayo, ano ba yung mga sikit, sikat na languages dito sa ating bansa. Which is sa atin ngayon is Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, C++, and Java. So ito yung mga languages na sikat sa atin. When we talk about the industry naman guys, ito yung mga trabaho na pwede natin i-take or pwede natin i-apply yan. Example, if you are into gaming, you should go for the language of C Sharp and C++. If you are into web development, you can go for JavaScript, Python, and other more. Let's talk about number two, which is what you want to develop or ito yung mga types ng languages na pwede mong gamitin in terms kung ano yung gusto mong pag-aralan. Here are some languages na pwede kong isuggest sa inyo. If you want to build iOS apps, you can go for the Swift language. Android apps, you can go for Java or Kotlin. Websites naman, you can go for JavaScript, HTML, CSS. Pag data engineering science naman, you can go for Python, R, and MATLAB. Game development, go for C++ or C Sharp. Number three tip or yung last na tip na pwede kong ibigay sa inyo is gaano kadali yung programming language or yung ease of learning nyo. Like what I've suggested guys, I chose Python and JavaScript. Why? Python is easier to learn than C++ or C language. And JavaScript is easier to learn than Java. Note lang guys ah, magkaiba ang JavaScript and Java. So, kayo na lang mag-research kung bakit magkaiba sila. Okay? So, here are the three things na dapat nyo i-consider. One is yung in-demand dapat siya dun sa job market kung saan kayo nakatira and also dapat pasok to sa industry na tatahakin nyo. Two is it lets you build what you want with yung mga type ng languages na pasok sa criteria na ito yung pinagagamitan na gusto mong ma-accomplish. And number three, ito ay dapat merong ease of learning. So pag kinunbay natin lahat yon ang magiging conclusion natin is JavaScript and also Python. So, sa dalawang yun, ano ba dapat yung first na unahin mo? Python ba or JavaScript? Depende yun sa inyo. Kung mahilig kayo sa logic over visuals, then go for Python. Why would I say Python? Because ito po ay ginagamit sa server side or back-end coding. Ginagamit po siya sa data analysis, data science, and also sa machine learning. When we talk about JavaScript, guys, ito po ay isang front-end language to build functionality. So, if you really want to learn JavaScript, you should learn HTML and CSS. So, yung tatlong yan, HTML, CSS, then JavaScript. Yung tatlo po yan ay partner and ginagamit po siya sa front-end development when making websites, alright? When we talk about functionality, guys, it is the interaction between the computer or the program and the humans or the user. 
So when the user clicks a button, there will be something updated in the website. So when I click this button, the, the website would be color red or it would be color blue. It really depends on you kung anong type ng functionality yung gagamitin nyo or gagawin nyo. It's easier to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript first, but is it enough when creating website? The answer is no, no, no. You still have to have a back-end development out there. When we talk about back-end development, guys, dito napapasok yung pag-store natin ng information because it is not smart that you store your information or your valuable information in the front end, bakit? There would be a compromise. When we talk about compromise, ito yung pagkuha ng information ng user, like yung password niya, yung username niya, yung email niya, yung location ng user. Nako, napaka-importante niya, guys. Yung privacy po ng user ang nakasalalay dito. That is why kailangan natin siyang itago sa back end. So, saan ba talaga ito sa store, which is ito yung tinatawag na server. Pwede rin kayo mag-store ng information Sa, ng user dito sa database na ito. Ano ba yung mga type ng languages para sa back-end or para doon sa ating pag-store ng information ng user? So, ito yung tinatawag na database. So, pwede kong suggest is SQL, MySQL, or MySQL Lite. When we talk about back-end guys or ito yung mga back-end languages na ginagamit mo like yung JavaScript or Python, pwede mo rin pag-aralan ang Node.js, ito yung back-end ng JavaScript, and for Python naman, you can use Django or Flask. Ito yung mga web frameworks na pwede kong nasadya sa inyo. That's about it for this video, guys. I hope that you learn a lot about this video. And sana na-clear po yung mind nyo kung ano ba dapat yung first language na kailangan kong itik. And continue to support me in this channel. And also, God bless sa inyo in your programming and in your studies. So, see you on the next tech tip. Bye, guys!